Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to take these legs from SketchUp over to vCarve for your cam. So the first thing you're going to want to do is delete everything except for what you want to take over to vCarve. After that, you're going to want to orient your spindle or whatever you're taking over to vCarve as a 2D view. And I just moved mine to where it looked best. And now I'm saving it as a DXF file. So after you save it or export it, uh, what you're going to want to do is then go and import that DXF file back into your drawing. And then we're going to make some slight adjustments on here. Uh, I'm going to use the erase tool to erase some of the lines and then basically make it so that the only thing left is the outside shape or the perimeter of my spindle. This was probably the most tedious part of the whole process. Uh, this is just what I found to be easiest, taking a circular object like the spindle uh, and then importing it as an STL. If it was squared off uh, or had sharp corners, I would just save it as the STL. But again, this is what I found to be easiest. If you know another way, then please uh, share it in the comments. So if you don't get the 2D saved perfectly as a DXF, uh, you'll have to go back and just kind of square up the top and bottom. And that's what I'm doing right here. Just making sure that it's 90 degrees and perpendicular to the uh, spindle itself. When you finally cleaned up all those inside lines and then worked on your perimeter, it should turn white. And that's just telling you that it is connected the entire way around. And then you wanna go ahead and push pull your spindle to your desired height. And then the next thing you wanna do is just export it as an STL file, and then go into vCarve and import it in there. Uh, you'll have to work a little bit with the orientation, move it exactly how you want it. But that's really all that it is going from SketchUp into vCarve. The rest is on your cam practices and how you kind of set up based on your machine. So for my example right here, I just need to set the Z to the lowest possible depth on my spindle. And then as far as the cam goes on my machine, I'm using a quarter inch ball nose on the smoothing pass. And I wanna make sure that my step over is set pretty low. Uh, the reason that I'm jumping straight to the smoothing pass is that I can set my tolerance to zero. Um, there's not gonna be a whole lot of detail on this spindle because it is covering such a large span. So I'm just trying to cut out uh, a previous step like the roughing pass. It's just going to make the whole process a little bit faster. Uh, from here I'm just going to save it to my USB and take it over to my CNC and then I'm also going to show you how I prepped up the blanks for the spindle legs as well. So here we are milling out the spindle now. Um, basically how I have this set up is I have a stop block or a stop corner on the bottom left and then I left the top and the bottom of the spindle untouched so that that way I could fasten it down to the bed of the CNC every time, flip it 90 degrees and then carve the other side. And this is the final product. If you have any questions, leave them down below. 
Uh, if you want the STL file, I put that in my Facebook group, SketchUp for Woodworkers. Thanks for watching.